In your Monday night election watch, more than half a dozen candidates are sharing their platforms with voters. Tonight, the Pitt County Democratic Party hosted a public forum for the community to hear their plans for the future. On your side's Dominique Moody is in. Jobs, health care, and the economy, just a few topics discussed at the forum. And it's about informing the public about the future of the district and how each candidate plans to serve the community. It didn't take long for this forum to heat up. Alan Thomas is proud to say he's endorsed by a man that has saved over $500,000. I was going to talk about a civil campaign we've had, but I guess that ended up not happening. One by one, candidates tackled issues including national debt, foreign affairs, and working along party lines, each sharing their plans for the district's future. Two candidates held from Pitt County, Ernest Reeves, who ran against Walter B. Jones in the 2016 election. They can see how we look. They can see how we you know, answer the question. They can see how we interact with each other, how we interact with the community, and I think it's very important. And former mayor of Greenville, Alan Thomas. If you're in eastern North Carolina and you have a need, just like Walter Jones did, I'm going to follow that same mantra to help you and bring opportunity here. And my track record hopefully speaks for itself. Five candidates made their arguments to voters deciding who will fill the seat held by the late Congressman Jones. Two former Marines are also vying for the position, Ike Johnson of Onslow County. We can ha get a chance to get to our voters with our message. They are key because we want to make sure every Democratic voter is informed about the candidates. We have some great candidates. And Richard Bew of Carteret County. This opportunity hasn't come along in 23 years. Um, I think so people are excited, uh, but they're also unsure. Um, we got a big field of candidates. Current mayor of Newburgh, Dana Outlaw, is also running. I'm give a conservative Democratic message for the voters to be able to make a decision with a candidate that actually has enumerated what they stand for. While voting began April 10th, these candidates tell me they hope they persuaded those that attended. In Winterville, Dominique Moody, 9 on your side.